This video is brought to you by Draeger's Classics. Hi, I'm Jerry Draeger, Draeger's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're out driving this 1995 Camaro. It's a V6, automatic, power steering, it's got NLX brakes, it's got air, the air doesn't uh, uh, blow cold, I just got a high sign on this car. I mean, it looks good. And it does have a couple of issues with the paint and stuff, and we'll show you that. But this car, how I came across it was, one of the car guys is a car collector I've known for a number of years. He's got several cars. He bought this car for his daughter. You know, and, and I've been there before myself. I bought my daughter a 67 Mustang Coupe with a six-cylinder automatic in it. And she complained about the car and everything else. So it's hard to buy a car for your daughter. And he kind of had the same problem. It didn't work for her. So he had this car. And, and I looked at it and I thought, you know, that's Camaro convertible. It's got to be a fine little car. And it ran good. And I mean, it was a good car. It's just got a few issues with the paint more than anything. So I think you'll find that this will make you a really good driver car. Maybe you want to get it for your daughter. The driver's side on this car, you know, this is a nice uh, straight car. There's a couple little spots here and there I see in here. Little spots uh, and little scrapes here and there, but nothing, anything too giant. You can see, there's, I can see just a little bit of a dent there. And you see these spots right in through here. There's some door chips along there and along the edge. Now this top, it's got a cloth top on it, which really dresses it up. And I don't know if we've done much with this. Have we tried to clean this too much? No. Uh, you know, it's it's it might clean up a little better than what it is. Uh, it got some stain spots in it, but the top overall is in good condition. It's not new or anything. And you can see there's a spot right here in the paint. Anyway, uh, this uh, I'll show you the windows in there because they're electric. It's the paint issue, there's a paint issue right here on the clear coat coming loose there a bit and stuff. And you can see that this door, it closes just just fine and, and good and stuff. Now to open the trunk, or the trunk, the hood, you've got to reach down in here and find the uh, lever, wherever it's at. There it is right there. And again, windshield is all good. All this looks good. It's got good... Uh, Lots of rubber on here on these wheels and stuff, and of course it's got disc brakes on the front. And right here, on top of this hood, is the worst part of this clear coat coming off of here. Uh, you can see in there and stuff. So, but the the rest of this, uh, you know, it's got rock chips from being used. This is, you know, this is a car that was bought just to drive. So it and it runs and drives great. I've driven quite a bit. Uh, and somewhere down in here, oh, right there it is. So here we are. This is your. Uh, this has got a V6 in it. It's automatic. It runs and drives good. Uh, anything else I can tell you about it that I know? We've serviced it and safety checked it, so it's ready to go and drive and, and enjoy. Uh, I don't know anything wrong with it. Thing that way. I think the biggest issue on it is this paint on the hood and stuff. Oop. That closes down just fine. Anyway, uh, you can see there's a little bit of a spot here. I mean, this is, this car, it's a driver quality car. It is a Camaro. So you can have, you know, you should get a lot of good years out of this thing and good service. It's kind of fun having a convertible. Uh, Everything along here looks good. And again, you can see this top here has got some issues uh, with being dirty. I, and this may all clean off. I, you know, we haven't tried to do anything with it too much. There's a little bit of a spot. Again, it's very straight. It's just got some scratches and issues with the paint. Doesn't look like it's been damaged or anything. Uh, to me, it's just been around. And the trunk here, I mean, it just uh, all down in here. You can see everything we got. Um, 
Oh, and the spare tire is right here. There's your spare right there. It's got the small spare. There's the jack is right there. So we have all that stuff uh, uh, for it. So you're in good shape. This here, if you wanted to uh, put something long in here, you can. It goes up in here. I think those seats will fold down up front there and everything. So you have that going for it. So if you want a driver quality car, there's a little chip of the paint there, stuff. Overall, it looks good to me. Now, uh, I want to put the top down for you, and I'll show you these windows and everything. Now the top is real easy. I have to put the right key in the switch though, that helps a lot. You can see it starts right up good. You gotta push these up and then they pop down. I thought they did. There we go. You just gotta fuss with it. And then, so you put your have it in park, have it in uh, neutral. And you have a switch right here on the dash. And all you got to do is push it. And you can see the top. So this is your turn signal switch here, of course, just like everything. And this is the wipers, so you got uh, delayed and high, and that all works good. And the windshield washers, <laughs> they work just fine. This, of course, is the cruise control. I'm not sure if it works or not. We have a tilt wheel on here. Of course, this is your headlight switch right here. Uh, the horn, I can hear it click right here, but it the horn is there but it's not working the radio has got a, a AM FM CD player but it doesn't do anything the air uh, does not blow cold I think it probably just needs a charge because it doesn't turn over at this point in time on there and uh, but the heater works just fine turn it up to heat here you get you get plenty of heat out of here so uh, takes a little bit for it to switch over. See, they're switching over there right now. So you got good heat. I don't need any heat on today. Uh, well, box, of course, is way over here. This, there's a tr trunk remote button right there, and I don't. It, it doesn't do anything, so that's not working. Uh, the top, of course, you know, it goes up and down. The windows, you know, it goes up and down. The door locks uh, right here works good has a remote mirror set up on here and so this is this is a what this car is is a good driver quality car you can see the door panels over there all look, that all looks real good the dash all through here looks real good and everything else I notice on this seat is where you get in and out of the driver's seat right there you can see it's been restitched and, uh, but I don't see any tears or uh, anything in here on the front seats. The back seats, they look good, other than there's a hole right there in that uh, back seat, the lower base there. Carpets all look real good. And again, the top is here, and we do not have a uh, boot for this top. It's just the way we got it. So all this uh, interior and everything looks good on here. This door panel on this side looks good. We do not have a key that works that door lock on that side. So you can see this running here. This has got, also got ABS brakes on it, looks like to me. With all that brake system on there. And it sounds good, it runs good. So you can see there's some pressure down there. And Andrew, turn on the air. 
you can see, turned it on, it didn't do anything. We'll take it down and have uh, Acme check it and see. It doesn't mean we'll get it working if it does what it needs, but if, if it just needs a charge, we'll get it charged for you. So, go ahead and rev it up. As you can see, it runs good, it, it works good. Start it. I mean, it just starts right up every time. Now, you can see the gauges go up and everything else. And you can see the tack works just fine. I can see, I reset the speedometer, and it shows 103 miles that I've driven it so far. So since I bought it. Anyway, we're going to take this for a little short drive. You can see it, it, it drives good, stops good and straight. I think you'll find it for a driver quality car with and a convertible so you can drive around and enjoy yourself. It starts to rain, you can put the top up real well. The V6 should get fairly good economy on it. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be afraid to drive this car anywhere. I've driven it uh, enough to know that it's a good driving car. There wasn't anything too much we needed to do to it. So I think you need to buy this car and enjoy it. Well, now you get to see it going down the freeway, but this is not a freeway. And I just give you a chance to see it. If you're at all interested, make sure you give us a call, 206-755-2148. I'm going to start it up. And we're going to do the lights. There's the park lights. There's the headlights. High beam, low beam. Left turn signal, right turn signal. We already showed you the wipers and told you that the horn doesn't work. Now we'll show you the back. Park lights, tail lights, brake lights. Left turn signal, right turn signal, and we have backup lights. Oop, got to put it in reverse though. I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video and understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try, and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them. And if you can't, 
You should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.